we usually talk about uh, students. Today, the focus will be on teachers, not students. The, the, the core of the presentation of the presentation will identify the role of teachers pre-workshop and post-workshop. That will be the emphasis on, on this point. Here I have quoted, I have selected this for Dennis Wake. All of the top achievers I know are lifelong learners. So we are learning all our life, looking for new skills, insight and ideas. If they are not learning, they are not growing, not moving towards excellence. So this is one of the occupations that I have quoted to motivate students to use technology more effectively in the classroom setting. This is an introduction about technology. For teachers, educational technology bridges the gap between educational activities that are the major concern in the teaching and learning process. And also, uh, one of the advantages of technology is to facilitate searching lesson plans, teaching materials, different exercises, uh, so many things can be done with the help of technology. We can find articles, we can find lesson plans, a variety. We can uh, bridge the gap between the past, we can trace the methods and the techniques used in the past and in the present time. So it is a very important source for providing extra information and most updated, most updated information about what is happening in the world, what is happening in all universities in the world. That is why technology should be there as a major part of our success in teaching English as a form of technology. So my title says drama, so it has nothing to do with the drama and theater. It is about the uh, subtitles, mind, role play and simulation and improvisation. Um, today I am to refute accusation who says that uh, the instructor of literature they pay regard. They don't. Know, they don't pay regard to the use of literature for teaching language. So I did this thing just to say that in teaching literature, we do concentrate on using or the use of language uh, literature to teach language. I start with uh, giving a definition of drama, which is actually a Greek word in origin, which means representation. Or there are many, or a wide range of definition for drama. I would say that drama is an activity which calls the presenter, or I mean the learner, to do what? Uh, to portray himself or to portray others in an imaginary situation. Yes. So, why to use uh, these techniques? I mean, uh, the use of These techniques, you know, they first have the skills of language, which are listening, writing, speaking. So, uh, these techniques or these activities, they foster language skills. Again, it is um, uh, as a tool, drama is a powerful language teaching tool, it involves all of the students interactively, all of the class period. Also, it provides means for the for connecting students' emotion and cooking. Thank you, Mr. for attending my presentation. After that, I'll have up from the English Department in Cultural Education at Baghdad University. The title of my presentation is Motivating a Student. What is meant by motivation? Of course, motivation can be defined differently from the psychological point of view, from the business concern, or from the educational point. But since we are dealing with the classes and the students and how to motivate them, so we will focus on the educational point of view. Whatever uh, the definition we are behind, there is a certain point to be focused. It is the reflection of the process that link the teacher's techniques, strategies, with the learner's uh, involvement and participation in the classes. So this is a general idea of what is meant by motivation. Okay, what are the purposes that make me choose this title and not any other title? 
simply because we suffer from having not all of our students are motivated in, in our uh, university. So we are behind motivating them. How? With the focus of the teacher's role. The teacher can do his best in order to have his students inspired and involved in the lecture through different strategies or techniques that he can expose through his lectures. And here, in this presentation, we will go through different issues that are related to this topic. They will be explained in details uh, by the slides. Okay, let us think of the core of this topic. What are the reasons for having or lacking the motivation? Firstly, it is a matter of interest, how to uh, choose subject matter that is of high interest for students. Everyone. Hi, I'm uh, Majid Rasim Yunus, University of Baghdad, College of Education, Department of uh, English. My uh, topic for today is revising the course, phonetics and phonology. Now before starting, I just want to give a, an idea about the course I'm teaching. The course I'm teaching now in Iraq, especially at the College of Education. The course in phonetics and phonology is not taught only at my college, but it is taught at all colleges of education in Iraq. And also is taught at the College of uh, Languages and College of Arts. So the, the idea is, is that of change. Now we say, we say everything in life is subject to what? Is subject to change. Sometimes we change things and we change it for, for the better. And nothing, it's a, it's a common sense that we say uh, nothing remains static. Everything changes. My course, the course I'm teaching, it has been taught for 20 years. And maybe more, I don't know. And it has been taught in different colleges, and nothing happened. The, it has not been changed, and it has not been revised or modified. And this, uh, what motivated me to write about course revision, taking ideas, concepts from the workshop we have it now in Georgia State University. Now, this is 
the Department of English in the College of Education, University of Baghdad. Now, this script in Arabic means College of Education. The present situation, aims and outputs. The aims of the department and the college are derived from the general objectives of the public policy of the country based on various social and cultural grounds. Our, depart our college and the department, our, our college is the oldest institution, educational institution in the country. Since 1920s, it provides the society with EFL qualified secondary school teachers. So the main purpose, the main objective of the department is to provide the society with teachers. Besides, generations of educators, teachers and translators have graduated from this department. Even there were some well-known poets and historians who graduated from our department. For example, Badr Shakr Sayyab, who introduced the blank verse into Iraq, is one of the graduates of this uh, institute. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, you are most welcome to attend my presentation. It's about teaching drama. I must say that you know I am really interested in literature and drama in particular. And I believe that you know literature enables students to speak English better. I noticed that, and there, you know I had a paper, a research paper, and I expected students to tell me that you know literature will never help us. Actually, I noticed that they learn more about language because they are engaged all the time in discussions and you know in analyzing ideas and talking about themes. So literature actually motivates students to talk and you know they are really interested so teaching will be fun learning will be fun instead of just saying go and you know write a certain page no it's really interesting to see them engaged in, in, in nice ideas okay now the introduction uh, i believe that drama reflects and mirrors life whatever we see on the stage is a reflection of life and i'm teaching actually Death of a salesman. And I'll go and mention other factors as well. In Death of a Salesman, we see an old man whose name is Willie Norman. It is L O M A N, but it is L O W M A N. He's a man who is really crushed by different situations. His house, uh, he's proud of his house. He has a small house, he lives there, and he, he likes all the time to plant things in the backyard. And all of a sudden, that house is dwarfed by high apartment buildings. And he can't plant anything in the backyard. So students will learn a lot about that and they believe that you know they can find such people in their life as well. The course aims at introducing modern drama by discussing social, economic, and historical background of the modern age. William Doman is an old man and he has to work hard. He has to drive his car for long, long you know, uh, hours because he has to earn his own decent kind of living. But you know, this is not enough. Nobody pays attention to him. So, you know, the economic part is very important. The students are encouraged to analyze plays and to develop their critical thinking. I never impose any idea on my students. I all the time give them a chance to express their ideas, even if those ideas were against, you know, my ideas. I tell them you are free inside the classroom to talk and analyze. And even if you have different ideas, I accept them and I give them good marks accordingly.